Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple vacuum fixture that you can make on your machine in just a few minutes. These are really useful for parts that are difficult to hold down with clamps or universal vacuum tables. Here we have two examples. The top one is for a production run of a specific part, in this case, an armrest. And then below it, we have more of a all purpose vacuum fixture with a grid so that we can resize the gasket channel for different size parts. But the cool thing is both of these use basically the same design strategy and designing these yourself is really easy. You'll need to cut a quarter inch channel around the edge of the vacuum area that you can put gasket in to prevent leaks. But then you need to cut a hole most of the way through your material near a corner or an edge. The gasket grid is completely optional just a matter of whether you want to be able to resize uh, your gasket for different size parts or not. Air will fill the entire chamber regardless of whether you have a grid or not. As you can see, these examples are Baltic birch and that works pretty well on a budget. It's relatively non-permeable, but if you plan on using these a lot, you might want to consider HTPE plastic, acrylic, which is even less permeable than that, or aluminum, which is completely non-permeable. If you want some help getting started on your design, the files for these are available in the description below. It includes both a DXF vector file and a completed and toolpathed VCAR file. Okay, so I'm gonna go cut another one of these out right now on the Laguna IQ. Aside from the vacuum pod, you'll need a few other parts to complete your system. Number one, you'll need a compressor, a Venturi pump capable of at least 20 inches of mercury, some tubing and push connectors, and some rubber gasket. For everything other than the compressor, you can find the parts list down below in the description. The rest of this cut's gonna take about five minutes and I'm gonna leave all of the footage in here for those of you who are maybe more just interested in seeing the machine run. Afterwards, we'll do the last final steps to make our vacuum pods and test them out.
And we're back. Now all we have to do is drill a hole for the tube. The tubing I happen to have is eight millimeters. I'm gonna seal it in place with some epoxy. And lastly, we're gonna connect that to the Venturi pump. And as you can see, it's holding pretty well. I hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this. And thank you for watching.